Uh, greeting everyone, this is your Rajakumar from the Paragon Academy, Badin. Uh, so, today we will discuss a, a book, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is written by Stephen Curry. The first habit of them is be proactive. You know, well, Stephen suggested that whatever you are doing, whatever you are learning, do this thing by proactively. Be proactive. Don't wait for, for future time. Don't be a procrastinator. Do everything right now. Be proactive. The world is going very fast. So be a proactive. And the second habit is begin with the end my journey. He said that uh, uh, this book also suggests that every uh, if we are learning something, the dif difficulty will become some people who choose their career, but after some time, they won't, they will reject and they will withdraw this uh, career to success. So this book, they forbid to withdraw the anything that they said that begin with end my journey. End my journey means you have to think about your professional, you think about your success. Difficulty will be there, troubles will be there, but this Kobe said you have to focus on begin with end my journey. And the third habit is put first thing first. This habit, this book's habit suggests that put first thing first every time. Give priority to every time. Give priority to your family, to your success. But the important thing is which are present in our mind, which are present in our society, give them priority. And the fourth habit, uh, and the fourth habit uh, is uh, seek, seek first, understand, then to be understood. First, the, this book emphasizes that first you have to First, you have to uh, think. First, you have to listen to other people's perspective. Then you may give the, your own perspective. So, see, first understand, then have to be understood. This uh, book also suggested that first you have to listen some words. We have to listen to pers other's perspective. Then you may give your information. Because listen carefully, you get the knowledge. Then you may tell your own perspective. Then you may share your own perspective by listening carefully. So listen to others' perspective, it's very important. See? And the fifth habit is think win-win. Think win-win means don't always don't always choose your success because your, your success background should be also other people's success. You're learning, you are competitive with the person, your mind should be that I will be a successful people, but I will make him successful either. So this book also suggests like this collaboration and make success with others. But think when you need to uh, have a you know vision that I will be able to do this. And the sixth habit is the synergize. So this synergize is also the collaboration learning, collaborative learning, and uh, interactive, integrative learning in the group discussion, teamwork. This habit is also very uh, make you also make you very effective. In your life so be uh, be uh, so whatever you are learning learn with teamwork learn with the collaboration and these days collaboration to play the wider role in our education and different sectors and the for the last habit the book the book's last habit is that uh, sharpen the saw before coming of era you have to polish your skill right now because that time you will be able to face the difficulty you will be able to face the problems of these uh, of this era. So, for Polish to sharpen the self right now, it's very important point. And by following, by applying these old habits, we can be effective men, and we can ever we will be able to choose our career, a professional, and our success.